Yeah, so I moved here about four months ago to work with Grip Outreach for Youth, which is the organization that's, uh, that Legacy is a part of. It's the, the ministry that's over at Legacy. And it's focused on fatherless teens in Chicago. And so we are um, focused on uh, mentoring them, linking them up with life on life uh, coaches that can disciple them, that can help them with their homework, take them to hospital visits, um, take them out to food, take them to concerts, just walk with them, um, care for them holistically. So I came on as a volunteer coordinator for that. So I'm the one who's recruiting all the volunteers for the organization. I'm also doing a lot of side stuff as well, editing videos and whatnot, but my, my primary um, job is uh, volunteer coordinating and I live in Chicago with Brian Dye. Uh, I live in the home um, um, that I just did an article on about the, uh, the the bullet thing and the bullet going through and and my first month into Chicago man um, on that street man I heard a I heard a gunshot down the street I had been hearing gunshots and I was like that one I think is on my street man but I look out the window man it's like a, a, a car um, um, just pulls up, dude gets out, and starts firing. Oh, well, somebody was hit. Uh, I later found out later down the street. But what I saw, no one actually got hit in that shooting. Um, but that happened right in my on our street, right in front of me. Um, and so that's the environment that we're in. And so it's it's a big change for me because I'm from I'm from a, a military base area um, where only gunshots I hear is when people are you know practicing out in the field on the on the military base in a controlled environment. So, um, just living with Brian and learning a lot about opening your home up, uh, caring for the hood, caring for those who are vulnerable, caring for those who are usually looked over. Um, there's not always, when you're talking about, talking about starting up a ministry or a church and, and working with uh, God's people and wanting to make disciples, a lot of times there's not money in that. There's not a lot of glory and money to be made. So it's just been real humbling and challenging to see a man I really be about that action, boss. Like that dude is. It's not a lot about that talk, man. He's not moved by a lot of talk. He he's about that action, man. So it's been challenging me to be about that action here in Chicago as well. So.